Gospel of October the 1st, 2016, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The seventy-two returned rejoicing and said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Before, behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And let us take a peek of the first reading, which is the ending, the very ending of the, of the book of Job. Job answered the Lord, I know that you can do all things. I have dealt with great things that I do not understand. Too wonderful for me, which I cannot know. I have heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eye has seen you. Therefore I disown what I have said, and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the later days of Job, more than his earlier ones. This servant of the Lord, Job, remained faithful to God even when he was suffering too much. Humane, humanely, he did not embrace hardship or pain, but yet he did not despair of God. There was a point where he wanted not to be alive, but not a point where he would be cursing God. And in his pain, there was a time where he wanted to deal with God, to call God to justice. And now God has, we, we have read it yesterday and today, God called the attention of Job asking him about things that he could not even answer. And those are the words that he's talking about today. I was talking about great things that I could not understand. I repent, I have seen you, my eye has seen you, I repent of all I said. And it is so intermingled, this lecture with the Gospel. I was comparing the Lord with Job, how the Lord embraced pain and death, because he knew it was the will of the Father. Whereas Job was dreading the pain. And then the Lord himself makes the statement, No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son. There is that. How does Job, how did Job see God? Well, in the creation. Never in Job's book is written that he saw him face to face, even as Moses is written to, be, to have seen him. But face to face is not the same as the Son knows the Father, and the Father knows the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit then. So it is true what the Lord is saying, and that is a great difference of the man Jesus, and yet perfect man. What we see here is very nice, it's beautiful. There are two things. First, the 
72 apostles, the disciples that were sent, came back rejoicing. Even the demons are subject to us because of your name. And Jesus states, I saw Satan fall like lightning from the sky. I dare to say that what John reveals in the book of Revelation, I, John, saw a fight between Michael, the archangel, and his angels, and the old dragon and his angels. And they fought ferociously, but they were beaten, and they were thrown down from heaven forever. This is the time. John even wrote, they won over them, speaking about the disciples of the Lamb, because of the blood of the Lamb, and because they did not care so much about their lives, to shed their own lives, to shed their own blood. This is the moment. This is exactly the moment when the 72 went away preaching. This is the moment that dreads Satan and all his angels when we preach without fear. And the Lord states, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and upon the full force of the enemy and nothing will harm you. We have to believe that, especially all of us who are ordained. We are fighting against this. They have been thrown away from heaven. They are no longer able to accuse our brothers before God. Not even Satan, but he is dwelling among us here in the world. And we have to fight, we have to keep on fighting. And we will be victors because our Lord has been victor. The Lord says, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but because your names are written in heaven. How beautiful, how wonderful that that statement is for us all. That our names are written in heaven. That no matter what, if we're faithful, we will be able to see the face of God, of the Father, of Jesus Christ, of the Holy Spirit. To contemplate the beautiful face of the Virgin Mary. And to party with all with all your family, with your grandpas, your parents, everyone, with the angels and the saints, in this tremendous wedding of the Lamb. The Lord is filled with the Holy Spirit rejoicing. I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have hidden these things from the wise, but rebuild them to the childlike. Those who are like ch childlike are the ones that are big before the Lord. Why? Because then when we can become humble, it is when the Holy Spirit dwells stronger in us, when He makes us stronger, when we don't have to rely on ourselves, but we, re we rely on, on the Father, on our Father in heaven. Everything has been handed over to me by my Father. Yes, Jesus is Lord of all creation. Finally, he will say, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. Blessed are you, because you are seeing what everyone wanted to see and did not, was not able to see. All the kings, many kings, all the prophets wished to see what you see. What were they saying? What were they seeing? We're seeing God incarnated. Let us pray, these dear brothers, for each other, that we might all be saved and one day contemplate the face of the Lord and of the Father and contemplate the Holy Spirit in heaven. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.